so that's the uh, pump so as you can see the water is uh, going in so basically the pump uh, pumps the water into this pipe and then going to this pipe here going to the spindle there and then the spindle uh, spits out uh, the water going to this pipe and going to that uh, this radiator and then circulate around that radiator and then going back to this particular container hey guys so we're here at the top of my uh, uh, sensing machine so where I am sitting right now on top of the table so basically what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to add this uh, coolant ready to use coolant so this one is uh, the one that we're going to use to cool the, the spindle so for the spindle itself uh, the, the one that I'm going to use is a close or a closed loop uh, system so here as you can see this one is the top of uh, the the uh, sensi spindle and uh, these particular pipes here are going into the uh, radiator and then after the radiator uh, it will go to this uh, particular uh, reservoir and there's a uh, pump over here water pump so the, basically uh, this particular system is uh, most likely used on a pc or a computer uh, cooling system so this is the one that i'm going to use and i also uh, install it here at the back of the z-axis so that uh, it will go with the spindle itself uh, to be able for me to uh, eliminate the whole uh, piping uh, towards a, a fixed uh, uh, container for the uh, coolant itself so yeah so the whole system is embedded into the z-axis uh, to be able for me to uh, eliminate such uh, piping so the only piping that are uh, can be uh, seen in this setup is just uh, on top of the uh, spindle and then uh, at the top of it is the radiator and then the, the container of the water or the coolant and then the pump so I'm going to uh, install or uh, put on the coolant right now so we're going to use this uh, small panel uh, a small funnel and I also uh, have uh, power supply in here to be able for me to circulate the water to check if uh, there's some leaks so yeah so let's uh, put the coolant right now then after that one is we're going to turn on this uh, motor to be able to pump the water going to the spindle and then uh, outside going to radiator and then from the radiator it will uh, cool by using the fan so this radiator has its own fan and then uh, after that one it will circulate uh, towards those uh, radiator uh, towards those uh, pipes inside this radiator and uh, after that one it will be cooled by the fan and then it will go out to this one to this particular uh, tube here or pipe then it will go back to the reservoir so all the water is going to be just a closed loop so just a cycle so now uh, it's time for us to install this uh, particular coolant and let's do this so this is the coolant that I'm uh, going to use I don't know the uh, particular uh, uh, the proper uh, coolant that I'm going to use, I just bought this one on the, a an automotive uh, hardware. So this one to prevent overheating, rust, and corrosion, no need to add water. So coolant ready to use. So Pristonium brand and rust uh, prevents it uh, says here prevent rust and corrosion, prevent overheating and bo boil over engine metal, protects engine metal. So yeah. I hope this one is uh -huh. so we'll just install or put this uh water here or coolant so let's open this so by the way I bought uh 1.5 liters 
because I don't know really the, the actual capacity of the spindle and then the, this reservoir is uh, somewhere around uh, 75 ml so or 700 ml so I don't know if uh, 1 liter is really enough because uh, to be able to to circulate all the water so the pipe must have uh, um, uh, contain some of the water or some of the coolant that's why I need more so nice so the actual color of this one is actually yellow green So right now we are going to turn on the motor uh, to be able for the uh, water or the coolant to to flow. Oh. So add more. How? Oh my goodness. So now it's uh, circulating. We are going to add more, uh, at least maybe 75% of the reservoir. So, okay. <laughs> So the motor is actually too fast and I think that's fine so we're going to close the, the container so hmm, it's dripping uh, I think maybe that's because of the, <laughs> the the one that I put which is uh, too much so let's see if there's some leak other than the other one that's dripping when I uh, pour the water or the coolant itself so it's uh, kung, uh, it's running right now so, so that's the uh, pump so as you can see the water is uh, going in so basically the pump uh, pumps the water into this pipe and then going to this pipe here going to the spindle there and then the spindle uh, spits out uh, the water going to this pipe and going to that uh, this radiator and then circulate around that radiator and then going back to this particular container so that's the setup so it's kinda looking good <laughs> the actual uh, water or coolant itself is yellow green so yeah uh, it's also the same color as the, the piping that I'm using so I think uh, the level of the water is uh, fine so I'm good with that uh, uh, water level the pump is somewhat uh, noticeable when it's running so the next thing that I'm going to do of course is now that the, this one is ready and I think there's no leak uh, aside from this uh, leakage there when I install or there's some uh, extra drops outside when I uh, pour the uh, coolant then at the bottom so I'm going to wipe that one then the spindle here so I think no no water then for the radiator so that's the radiator okay so I'm going to wipe uh, the the drippage that I made and then we'll see uh, after that one if there's some more leakage so I'm going to uh, turn off the motor this particular power supply so let's uh, Turn this one off. So I have a switch here. Okay. The water drops. So it settles. Ok. 
Okay. So I'm going to get some uh, rugs to wipe this one out and we'll see. So let's uh, clean this one right now. So I think uh, looking at the radiator, there's no repage or no leakage for the spindle itself. It looks good. For now, maybe. <laughs> now, let's clean the extra drops of coolant. so let's see let's turn this one on again So, yun guys, so there, so I think uh, the, everything is fine, so as you can see, there's no leakage in here, only the one that's uh, when I install or put the water or the cooler, the coolant. So, I think that's fine. So this one is uh, not really on the same uh, size of uh, pipings. So this one is one fourth, and then this one is ten mm. So six m uh, six mm, then ten mm. So I don't know uh, what's that in uh, inches. So but then uh, six mm is somewhat one fourth, and then the ten mm is somewhat uh, five eight. I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah. So everything's fine. So now uh, I can uh, test uh, this particular spindle if this one is uh, really working. Though I already test this one running without a coolant or without a cooler, and still uh, it uh, <coughs> it's good. So I can really see that uh, it's uh, functioning perfectly. And now uh, for a long period of time, I want to try this one cutting something. So that's why I finally uh, try to install this one and fix this particular uh, cooling system. So I think that's it for this uh, setup. So as you can see, everything is working. The water is uh, falling down into back into this container, and then the pipe or the pump is uh, pump pumping all the waters uh, from uh, this container towards the spindle towards the uh, this particular jator and so on so it's on a closed loop so the other thing that i'm going to do next is of course uh finalize the wiring of this uh, motor and also finalize the wiring of the uh the uh, cooler or the fan for the radiator and also the uh this particular uh thermostat so to be able for me to check the the, the measurements of uh the actual uh temperature of the water so that I can monitor whether uh, everything is working fine or not. So yeah, so I'm going to uh, put this one. The cup is already here. So I can uh, put this one here and uh, close this cup or this hole at the top. And I think that's it for this uh, video. And uh, see you again next time for another uh, uh, continuation of this whole uh, DIY process of building a 4x8 DIY CNC machine. So... Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.